Hi there, this is going to be a special love reading. It's a soulmate slash twin flame reading. Remember, labels are not important. It's just whatever the, the connection is for you, okay? This will be for all signs. If it resonates with you, you'll know. You'll feel it. At the um, second part of this, in the extended, I'm going to pull intimate cards. But in this first part, let's go ahead and get some cards out and see what direction we're going with this. A lot of people are finding that there's a lot of new options popping in at the last second, you know? A lot of plot twists. But are they really plot twists? For some people, it's options that were right in front of them all along. That they may have thought wasn't an option. Or they may have thought the person wasn't interested. And then that person thought you weren't interested. Sometimes it's just an unspoken thing. Sometimes it's just assuming. See why you never assume? Can't never assume that somebody likes you or don't like you. It goes both ways. You can't assume they do or they don't. You don't know. All right, let's get some cards out and feel this feel this energy out. We have this new, excuse me, it's a full moon. Full moon on February 9th, I think I saw it was, and I can't remember where it is. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Told you. <clears throat> For some of you, I don't know why I woke up to with like this <coughs> yucky throat. Um, I apologize. Bear with me, please. It's very phlegmy and it's very yucks. Um, could be the throat chakra clearing out too. I don't know. But then I also wasn't feeling very good from, you know, this past weekend. So <clears throat> if you hear me constantly clearing my throat, I apologize. Now, as I had said, some, some of you, there was a particular option that was right in front of you that you may have not thought was an option. Maybe it's because it's not something that you would normally go for, whether it's a job or a person. Your usual type? Do you have a usual type? It, just because this person or this opportunity is not your usual type of job or usual type of person, it doesn't mean it's not going to be everything you've ever wanted. Like, you'll fall madly in love with it. True love, see? This is the romance of a lifetime, see? So this is like, for example, like for me, I always say like, I like football players. What if my boo come in and he's soccer? What if he's basketball? Right? Like hockey. I don't know. But but like my usual type is like, I like football players. But like what if my husband ain't even no damn football player? What if he's a damn coach? What if he's a damn GM? Right? So it's like, it's and it can be little things like that too. Like, well, I like a particular type of person. Or I usually like older. Or some people are like, I usually like younger. And it's just going to be something a little bit different. It's not going to be dramatic. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. See, they're saying, trust us. Like, I know it's not your usual thing or your usual type, but trust us. And then guess what? You got to trust them, right? You have to trust them. Because the universe always knows better than we do. We, we always think we know it all, but we don't. The universe says, trust me, okay? That came out weird. <gasps> Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Twice, faith. Have faith. It is going to happen. It's going to be. Oh, God. Oh, God. One more, please. I feel like I need one more. I don't know. We'll see how much more come out. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Remember, I said earlier that you can't assume. I feel like some of you guys just assumed if it has to do with a person. Some of you just assumed that they didn't like you and, and they weren't interested. But they were interested. They just assumed you didn't like that and weren't interested. See how, like, you have to have this conversation. Cool, something comes in right at the stroke of midnight. Comes at the midnight hour as I have been channeling for freaking how long? The ship. So something's coming in. From, from afar, from, from afar. But it also feels like somebody, you can meet somebody on a trip. But this is also distance between two people. They say that the worst distance between two people, I don't know if you ever heard this quote, I've, I see it all the time. The worst distance between two people are 
miscommunication. That's why you got to discuss it with somebody. You got to say, I, hi, are you interested? Because some, some, people, some people assume someone's taken and they're not. Like, they're actually single. Like, what if they're single and you just assume, oh, they're taken? And the clock tower here, too, talks about stroke of midnight. Someone comes in at the very last second. I've been channeling that shit since, like, 2018. You have her the grave. Something you thought was over and done with. And the locket. This is treasure. Tre treasuring somebody. Something that's really important. It's a keepsake also. Somebody says, I can't. I, I don't want to let that go. It's too important to me. You're important to me. Someone here could also have lost somebody in their life. And then you have the ring. The ring is a promise. I swear. By the moon and the stars in the sky. I'm listing all the wrong words. You guys know I do. I swear. Someone is like swearing to you. I swear. That I will love you and treat you right. And I swear. That I will never let you go. I don't know. Whatever they're saying. Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So it took forever. Whatever this is, they took the long way. They walked instead of drove. And the Ten of Pentacles is financial stability. This can also be something very solid and long term. Could be a long term committed relationship. See, in this card, there's two adults, which you would assume would be a family, right? Because you have the dog, and then you have all these children. So it's, it's about somebody here. Judgment and strength. Give me a second. Look at her. Having extreme strength here to have faith. I tell you, the faith thing is it's hard. It's easy to say, I have faith. But when you're in that situation and you're looking around and you're seeing everybody else being blessed and you see everybody else meeting the, the man or woman of their dreams and you're thinking, well, what the hell? I'm doing all the right things here. Where's my person? Am I, did I do something wrong? Am I doing something wrong? And you start to get in your head about shit, yeah? Judging yourself. Look, judgment over here. Judgment is also a resurrection of something, but judgment is also something coming back from the past. Something's coming back from the past or it's a person that you've known a really long time. There could be something with that. But also, like, like I'm saying about the energy of, did I do something wrong? How come it's not happening for me? And, and as I was talking to a friend about this, a lot of times we don't get those things because our energy is so out there, right? And it's so high that maybe a lot of things around us in our vicinity, it's not, it's not good enough for us. It's not good enough. So the universe is searching for something that is. The universe is working their magic, right? It's like when you vibrate so high, you got to find to have things around you that match your energy and maybe nothing does because it's like your energy is that of extraordinary and everything around you could be ordinary. Do you want an ordinary love like everybody else? No, right? All right, then. <coughs> I have here the four of swords, which is resting, retreating, it's healing, Something here with the womb. So this somebody here could be healing the inner child. And then we have death, which is rebirth. Gorgeous energy here. That could be this with the judgment card too, the rebirth. Part of the rebirth is realizing that when you start to go through an awakening and you start to go through, you know, ascension and such, a lot of people around you are not in that same wavelength or energy or vibration, okay? So those people in your current life might have an easy time finding jobs and finding people and whatever, whatever, but you gotta understand something. What is their vibration like? What is it exactly? Just because it appears to look like gold and it's sparkly and shiny, is it gold or is it fool's gold that they have in their life? You don't know. And then we have here the King of Wands, Kang Dang Lang. See the lion in the background? See, she morphs into this. Yeah, she has the strength to have faith, do her own thing. She's a lion, and then she attracts. It's like she calls in the lion. 
You see what I'm saying? The King of Wands is somebody who is a go-getter. And he's not afraid. And he'll start conversation. And he's very creative. And he's very direct. And he likes to lead. He's the alpha. He's very sure of himself. And he's very sure about his decisions. So you have the lion there. The lion follows him. See a lion in the back? He's the alpha of the pack. Some of you are bringing in your Kang Dangalang, as I like to call him. Your BDE. Big dick energy. Two swords and the four of pentacles. Oh, couldn't see it before. Blindfolded here, right? Couldn't see it. And then look at her over here with the four of pentacles, clutching onto her purse so tight. Hanging on feels like hanging on to something old. Holding on and hanging on to something old in the sun. Well then, the sun is essential for all living things to grow. It is healing. It is pure joy and happiness. Like absolute epitome of joy and happiness. It's also feels like strength it's weird because yeah you have the strength card here but the sun here feels like strength too and it's also masculine energy the sun can also be fame or success i feel like this king of wands is watching you bask in your success and bask in your healing and your transformation i feel like a lot of you guys whoever this is could have been watching you whether it's an old person or whether it's someone you've never met yet just because you've never met them yet doesn't mean they don't know who you are you've just never met them yet they might have known you for a year and a half little do you know right so it's almost like someone here this king of wands could have been witnessing this transformation this healing to go from this scared afraid not willing to trust she's in this place of like worry it feels like you know she is clutching her purse she she's not trustworthy of anybody to look at this energy she's like hell yeah she's got her arms up to the air she's super carefree she's also connected you see her aura here she's connected to the universe right she's trusting she's having faith this one over here is not trusting nobody. She's closed up. She's climbing up. This is climbing up, Four of Pentacles, where this is open and free and, and, and in this position of receiving, climbing up, receiving. See the difference? He's not going to vibe with somebody in this energy like this because he don't do that. Huh? This dude is like this. That's the kind of energy he is attracted to because it's what he is. Like attracts like. Yeah, opposites attract. But he's not going to want somebody who's scared. Unless he's narcissistic. Narcissists want people that they can keep down. They want people that are broken. That's why when we were broken in our, in our times of our life, we all had a narcissistic partner. And now we are who we are and we're healed and we've ascended in all of these things, right? In vibration. I would never, ever look twice. That's not even my type. I would never give those kind of people the time of fucking day nowadays. You see what I'm saying? But back in the day, shit, that was our shit. That was our vibration. Because we needed to learn those lessons, right? Anyways, there's this huge rebirth happening here. And there's this king of wands that's watching you. Or is it like this? Every breath you take, I'll be watching you. I mean, I don't know how long I've channeled people watching us. And it's always different people, too. People always go, it's the same when watching. No, it could be a totally different person. <laughs> it doesn't always have to be the same person watching. But let me tell you something right now. Keep an open mind. Because this person, I feel like, may not be your normal, typical type. But look at what you have, bottom of the deck engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. All right, now we're going to get into the tarot here. The sexual tarot deck, okay? If you would like to purchase this extended reading, click on the link below. Bear in mind there are sexual images on this deck, but that's not the nature of what the reading's about. It's like art, okay? Anyways, if you want to purchase it and you are over 18, click on the link below. <coughs> 
if not, I'll see you guys later. Love you. <clears throat>